Well, hello civilians. Welcome back to our channel. And today we will be continuing with our series about the 15 reasons why money can buy happiness. So let's begin. And we will be continuing with our 10th point. So the 10th point is legal matters. Now let's admit how much we all hate to get into a legal matter. Getting sued by someone or suing someone is a nightmare for any person irrespective of his bank balance. But if a person has to go through the legal system to get justice, who do you think will come out as a winner? A billionaire has lots of money to throw to get justice. He can not only have the best lawyer for himself but also can hire an entire team comprising of the best lawyers to represent himself in the court. He has access to the best legal advice on his fingertips whenever he wants, wherever he wants. His huge bank balance will help him to fight the legal system for as long as possible. A billionaire can fight the legal system for 10 or 20 long years and still be a billionaire. For a middle class person on the other hand, getting into a legal matter is a nightmare come true. For him, fighting the legal system for justice can be very stressful financially, emotionally, physically and legally. Hiring a good lawyer that can represent him in the court means that he has to burn a lot of money on the lawyer's fees. If the case drags on for several years, he could end up losing all his savings along with his mental and physical health. And even if he gets justice, several years would end up being wasted. On the other hand, a poor person has no chance of getting justice in case he gets into a legal matter. A person who is homeless and who is struggling to make ends meet has absolutely no chance of defending himself in the court. He won't have a lawyer or a friend to bail him out. If he was found guilty, he would stay in the jail until and unless an unbiased investigation is conducted by the authorities. Hence, money increases your chances of fighting a legal battle for as long as possible and coming out as a winner in the end, only if you are actually innocent. Now, the 11th point is travel. So who do you think can travel in the most comfortable and luxurious way? In a previous point, we talked about how billionaires enjoy their vacations but we didn't touch on the topic of how they travel to the exotic destinations. In this point, we will expand on that topic. When a billionaire travels, he travels in style, comfort, luxury, safety and with all the amenities that makes his life super easy and fun. He can probably travel in first class where he doesn't have to fight with the front passenger for some inches of extra legroom. He can relax fully and can even get some work done if he wants to. The staff is highly trained and is equipped to handle almost any problem which might arise during the travel. He doesn't have to worry about a child crying next seat. He can relax fully, enjoy and indulge in anything that he wants. While flying first class, he gets to board and disembark the plane before everyone else, saving him precious time in the process. Another added advantage is that while he is waiting in the super luxurious lounge, he might bump into another billionaire which can improve his network as discussed in a previous point. In case he owns his own private luxurious jet, then he can fly whenever possible to wherever possible just at his own wish and leisure. In this case, he has the entire plane to himself. What a luxury! In case he travels by water, he can hire or buy a luxurious yacht that's bigger than most people's home. When traveling by road, he travels in the most luxurious and fastest cars available in the market. On the other hand, a middle class person is just an average person who's fighting for some extra leg room from the front passenger in a plane. When travelling by road, he usually has an old rusty car that has been driven thousands of miles or kilometers and is nowhere as comfortable or luxurious as a billionaire's car. When travelling by water, well, his chances of travelling on his own yacht or a rented one are slim to none. But maybe someday he may go on to a cruise liner with his retirement money when he's old. On the other hand, a poor person doesn't even have the resources to travel in public transport. So what else do I need to say more? Hence, money allows you to travel more freely and luxuriously. Now the twelfth point is technology. Now we live in the 21st century and we are all surrounded by technology. Who do you think has access to the best technology? Now a billionaire clearly has access to the best technology. From equipment like 4K TVs, latest smartphone, laptop to smart glasses, virtual reality, augmented reality and many more things like that. If the market has anything new to offer, he will have it as soon as possible or at the day when the product or the service is launched. On the other hand, a middle class person can own a smartphone or a laptop, but usually it's an outdated model. Sometimes it's quite old like 3 to 5 years old or even older than that. In some extreme cases, he has the technological equipment which has almost become obsolete. 
but the pain of living paycheck to paycheck forces him to survive with the bare minimum and he has to use the old outdated piece of technology even if it no longer serves his purpose a poor person on the other hand has almost no access to technology in any way and even if he has access to a certain technology it's very basic and simple now at the time of recording this video many countries are still facing problems with the restrictions enforced by their governments due to the covid-19 pandemic when the world is trying to shift to high speed internet and other basic equipment in order to work from home or anywhere who do you think has the best possible internet hence money increases your chances of success as it enables you to get your hands on the best available piece of technology now to keep this video really short and simple we will end here and in the following video we will discuss about all the other reasons why money can buy happiness so that was it for today's billions now if you really liked our content then please like comment share and subscribe it's your likes that motivate us to make more content just for you and do follow us on instagram because our community of like minded people is growing bigger day by day so thanks for being with us until the end we'll see you in the next one and thank you